Hey, what's up guys? Vinny Vendetta here. And today we're gonna do another video for you guys. We're gonna do our monster review on the Fire Frankenstein Bulldozer. <clears throat> Check out this guy over here. Um, first and foremost, I just wanna say this and get this out of the way. This is a review on Bulldozer, first and foremost. Um, I put a discussion in a, a subreddit form today on Summoner's War to get people's ideas on what they might want to see uh, with Bulldozer and possible comparisons to Basalt. And they did not like it. Oh my god, they, they people do not see the comparison for some reason. I, I don't know if I'm crazy and why I do, but we have a first skill here. Uh, deals damage according to defense and stuns. So we have card control on the first skill with Basalt. We have damage on the first skill. It's a provoke, so we have CC on the first skill as well. Now I know guys, TOA bosses, you can't stun them. You have to provoke them. Provoke is very important. I know that. I know the difference between the two. Um, I just feel like there's other monsters you can bring when you're doing TOA hard. Usually you're bringing Mav. Mav can uh, taunt the bosses for you. And again, I'm not trying to tell you guys to de-rune your Basalt and put your runes on your Fire Frankenstein because he's so much better and he's going to do way more damage than Basalt. I don't know. We're just going to review the Fire Frankenstein and as I do it, I kind of want to just compare him to Basalt because I feel like they have some similarities. And so with the first skill, they both have CC. Uh, second skill, they both have an AoE uh, decrease attack bar that does damage. Uh, Basalt's is 30%, uh, 35%, and Bulldozer's <clears throat> is 30%. So it's a little bit less on Bulldozer's, and I would imagine Bulldozer's is going to do less damage as well. Bull Bulldozer's AoE attack bar decrease is on his second skill, where Basalt's is on his third, and we know Basalt has a higher multiplier. Um, but still, kind of the same little kit as far as those two skills go, and I just want to compare the two, see how they work. Now, the third skill on him and the second skill on Basalt are totally different. It's what separates the monsters. It's what, make, it's what makes Bulldozer an attack monster and Basalt um, a healer support monster. Uh, Bulldozer has a full power punch and it will ignore defense and hit twice, ignore defense, do a ton of damage. Whereas Basalt's other skill, his third skill, it's his second skill, but the third skill of Basalt's... Um, will heal and give a defense buff for two turns, which is really great. It's what makes him such a good monster for TOA. Really uncomparable um, by a lot of means. However, the kit that the Fire Frankenstein Bulldozer brings is a little bit similar to Basalt, and that's why I want to compare it to him, because a lot of people don't have a Basalt. This is one of the things that, one of the reasons why I wanted to compare the Fire Frankenstein to Basalt is because a lot of people don't get lucky with their Light and Dark Lightning and they don't have Basalt, but a lot of people have a Fire Frankenstein and we just want to see where we can use him. Um, he's not going to do the same thing as Basalt, guys. He's not going to be your solo -er, or your auto -er for Hall of Heroes B3 and your Hall of Heroes, or I'm sorry, your TOA hard. He's not going to do the same thing as Basalt. I just want to compare him to Basalt on the skills that are similar and see if we can possibly replace him in certain scenarios. Um, definitely a different monster, but not only, we're not just trying to um, take Basalt's place in some places if we can, but he also does things that Basalt doesn't do. Um, I know Basalt can be ruined as an attack, or excuse me, as a, a defense damage dealer um, and do good in Guild Wars and PvP, but Bulldozer especially is really good in Arena Offense. Um, he's really good in Guild Wars. Um, I think, personally, I think he can do well in TOA Hard. We're going to take him in a run uh, just to see how it goes. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and we'll test it out. But sorry guys, it's so long. It's just a big disclaimer because there was so much uh, controversy over this today. And a lot of people are like, there's no point in doing this video. They're not even close. Uh, Bulldozer's just a nuker. Basalt's just a support monster. And I'm like, there's... You guys are going on so much different ends. You just got to kind of look at the similarities and just compare it off that. I'm not trying to imitate Basalt. I think Basalt's on a whole nother level. If you have Basalt, use it. If you don't have Basalt, you could try Bulldozer. Um, and Bulldozer can do other things for you as well. So, with all that said, 
I hope all the people that um, watch this video and hate me because of the title at least watch the first few minutes so they could see what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to actually do here. But first and foremost, this is a bulldozer review. Let's review. Uh, first skill, Hammer Punch, attacks the enemy two times and deals damage proportionate to your defense. Each attack has a 25% chance to stun the enemy for one turn. If the target is not suffering any harmful effects, one additional attack is added. So most, especially in, for the TOA instance, this is probably only going to hit twice since they're going to be loaded Excuse me, with dots and defense breaks. Um, so to hit twice has a 25% chance to stun. When you skill it up, it goes up an extra 20%. So it's a 45% chance to stun and it hits twice sometimes three times and from what I'm seeing uh, it procs quite often and it's really effective especially in uh, guild battles um, and I'll show you a, I'll try to do a guild battle today with him uh, pair him with copper just to show you guys his potential there as well um, but so he's got a stun on his first skill hits two times possible three times second skill is body press crushes all enemies and decreases the attack bar of each enemy by 30% this damage is pro proportionate to your max HP and defense this is the skill that really resembles Basalt's third skill. I'm 100% sure, well I'm 99% sure Basalt's going to do more damage with his third skill than Bulldozer will with his second skill. Uh, but I just want to see. We're going to test it out. We're going to take, I have this rune set here. We're going to take it off him and we're going to put the same exact rune set on Basalt and we'll see the damage difference. Uh, let me click through all these real quick so you guys can see. And it's on Violet too, so it's not uh, Rage Blade. We might, I might take my Copper Runes off and throw them on just to see that, just for Bulldozer. Uh, at the end of the video, if you guys are curious what kind of damage he'll do with Rage as well. So I'm curious to see how much damage this is going to do. Um, the attack bar decrease is already nice, um, and that's what kind of almost the exact same as Basalt's third skill. And we got the CC on the first skill. The sec the third skill on uh, Bulldozer is what really makes him different from Basalt. Kind of puts him on two different ends of the spectrum. Uh, full power punch. It strikes with every last bit of power left in the body. It will ignore defense. However, you will be stunned for one turn after you use the attack. And I know that's a major weakness. Guys, he's a three star. He's not going to be able to ignore defense on a four turn cooldown. And do tons of damage and not have some sort of repercussion. I feel like the stun <clears throat> is a little extreme. Um, maybe put him to sleep or something so that maybe he has a chance to be reawakened, uh, but he he will be stunned after we use it, which you can counter. I can't show that in this video because I have no will runes, but his um, if you put will runes on him and he uses third ability first turn, he will not be stunned. So you could either bring immunity if you want as well. You could do like uh, Chloe, uh, copper bulldozer if you want to if, if their stats are high enough on just the runes uh, just to give him the immunity so that um, he won't be stunned after he uses his third skill but it hits pretty hard and it's reliable obviously if you take him against the water monster he's gonna have a chance to glancing hit but that's also why he pairs so well with copper because copper can take out the water monster he could take out the other monster and then you're left with a 2v3 or a 2v4 you know it's a pretty pretty decent odds so I think I like him um, we're going to test him out. His awakening skill is 15% critical rate, which is nice because this room set that I had on Basalt here, the critical rate was actually really low on Basalt. Because I also had uh, just a tad bit of accuracy and, and more HP um, because I wanted Basalt's heal as well. It's kind of hard. Basalt needs a lot of stats. <clears throat> if you want it to be good, he needs to be fast, accuracy, def defense, and HP. Um, so And crit rate and crit damage. So... Um, he was lacking crit rate, but with his awakened skill, the crit rate's a little bit better. I'm a bit happier with it. Um, I believe that's it. We showed the runes. He's on a standard defensive damage build, so you got defense, crit damage, defense. Obviously, you want to keep your crit rate high enough. And then we got some crit rate, HP, accuracy, and defense subs. Semi-decent runes, and it is violent, so the damage won't be as much. So let's go ahead and we're going to take him into, let's do, we'll go into Phamon. And my Basalt has no runes right now because I took them all off, but maybe I will take them together. Let's see, just so Basalt can give the defense buff. Actually, we will do, we'll take Galleon for defense break. And then we will take my Emesity. 
for the critical rate buff and the defense buff so that we know he's at least going to crit um, and Galleon can provide the defense break. We don't need the defense break for his third skill, but for his second AoE skill, the skill I, I, I particularly want to see the damage on, uh, we could test that out. So, I think that's good. We don't have leader skill. You know what? Let's go ahead. Um, these results might be a little bit possibly high because I'm making everything perfect to go with them, but we're going to take the panda because a lot of people have the panda and we'll give him a 33% defense lead. So he's going to have a defense lead, a defense buff, and a defense break from Galleon. And we'll see how much damage his second skill does. And then we'll also see how much his third skill does with the ignore defense. So let's check this out. Hopefully I can pause it. If it's not already. Alright, we're already paused. So I'll drop this down to one. Let's go ahead and get AoE defense break. Don't fail me, Galleon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, you don't need a violent. You're gonna kill things. All right, so we're gonna get Bulldozer the turn. He's gonna get an increased crit rate and defense buff. So this is where we're gonna see his second skill's damage. This is comparable to Basalt's third skill. I don't think it's gonna do as much damage as Basalt, but let's check it out and see what we're working with. Ah, uh, jeez. I think I, I saw 11,000. I don't know if I saw 17,000 next to it. I'm not 100% sure, we'll try to do it again uh, before this run is over, but let's say 11,000 AoE, which isn't, <clears throat> that isn't crazy, um, that's not a ton, but it does come with the uh, defense, or excuse me, the attack bar reduction, and it's, um, he's on violent, so he's not set to do a ton of damage as much as he would if, if he was on rage. Uh, so let's, we'll check out his third skill here, he's going to get stunned, just do this. Takes forever to go and this is all at one speed. And I'm sorry guys, I'm so tired. I've worked a ton of days in a row. My girlfriend's mom is uh, visiting. So I'm trying to get these videos done quick right after I get off work so that I can go and spend time with them. And hopefully get everything done that I need to do. So let's check out his third skill. Uh, oh, you know what? Shoot. No, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for his, um, we're going to wait for the defense buff before we do his third skill and the crit rate because I want it to crit so that we can see what it does. We'll use his first skill, but we'll do it on a non-defense broken target, so this is kind of just his base. So 3,500, and it hits three times because they didn't have any debuffs. For a default attack, I feel like that's pretty good, especially on violent. Um, you could say 7,000 because it'll normally only hit twice, um, and it has a chance to stun. We didn't get to see this stun because we killed it, so um, I think that's pretty good. About 7,000 default on a violent. And mind you, he's a, he's a tanky monster, kind of like Copper. Let's uh, see if we can get a defense. Oh, jeez, I hope he doesn't die before. We get, the, get the buff. Kill it with fire. Just kill it. And we'll go to the next one. All right. All right, so we don't need the AoE defense break, but this is going to be the last part for Bulldozer. So we'll do it anyway. Let's get him a buff. We'll check out his third skill and then we'll try to do his second skill again. Because I, I think I missed some of those numbers. But let's. We'll go for the main guy. We'll go for the boss. This is going to ignore defense. It's going to hit twice. Let's see how much damage it does. 14, 14. So that's 28,000 damage. Now, mind you, he's optimally, optimally buffed and you won't always see this. But honestly. Other than the leader skill, you can easily take this into Guild Wars with Amesity and Copper. Amesity is fast enough, he's going to give uh, Bulldozer the turn, and right off the bat, he's going to hit somebody for 28,000 damage, and more than likely kill them, and if you have Will Runes on him, you don't have to worry about him being stunned, um, he'll just be able to get to go again right away, or maybe even buy them proc out of it, so, and we're going to test it, because I, I actually want to see now, if it does 24,000 on Violent, how much it will do on Rage Runes. So I'm going to take Copper's runes, but we'll do that at the end of the video if you guys want to stick around to see it that way. If you don't want to see it, you don't have to. We'll go through this real quick. I'm just going to uh, let it auto. So we got to see his third skill hit for about 28,000. His second skill did about 11,000 AoE, which wasn't a ton, um, but it did have the decreased attack bar. And then his first skill hit for about 7,000 when it hits twice, 10,000 when it hits three times, without defense break on the first skill. So that's that's pretty decent. I feel like if they had a defense break, it would have done a lot more. 
Um, so there, that's uh, that's Bulldozer. So to compare him to Basalt, I'm going to use my tablet for this part just because I can tap faster. We are going to take off Bulldozer's rings, the same exact set. And we're going to put it straight onto Basalt. And we will take Basalt in, and we're going to test Bas Basalt's third skill. That's really all we're interested in seeing. Obviously, Bulldozer doesn't have the heal, which is very important. And uh, the first skills I don't think are comparable in terms of damage. We could test it out, but we're mainly looking at Basalt's third skill, so... Where was that? There we go. Guys. Should be the last rune every time. And then we'll put our guard rooms up. I have some pretty decent guard rooms that I haven't even leveled up at any. Alright, I think this is it. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. We got Basalt fully ruined. And one thing I will say too, Basalt's base defense is way higher than Bulldozer's. I looked at the plus 1400 when the runes were on Basalt, and then I took them over to Bulldozer and I saw plus, I think, 1200. I was like, oh my god, that is such a big difference. It's a hundred difference in defense, which is a lot. Um, so that's, you know, another downfall to Bulldozer. But as another disclaimer, guys, I'm not telling you to take out your Basalt runes and put them on Bulldozer. This is just a small comparison, and for people who don't have Basalt, maybe they want to use Bulldozer. Uh, but I know somebody said today in the Reddit post they did want to see the Basalt's uh, damage. So we're going to take him in. Same thing, we're just going to take out Bulldozer and put in Basalt. And we'll test out Basalt's third skill. Of course, I wouldn't even really need to bring Emesity. One thing too I want to point out real quick. His crit rate is low. Emesity is actually, well Emesity will put him up to 97% crit rate. But there is the chance that it might not actually go off. He might not crit. I mean. So let's test it out. I was saying something. I don't remember though. Maybe it'll come back to me. Alright, we can, we can pick, pick and pick. So let's drop it down to one. So we don't forget. AoE defense break. We'll give Basalt the turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going in. So we're gonna... Defense buff. Current rate buff. Defense leader skill. Defense break. I believe this hits for around 20,000 when it crits. I'm not, we'll find out. So pay attention to the defense broken targets. Let's go. Wow, okay, I was way off. Holy shit, we're in a whole nother world, guys. 31,000, um, holy shit. Wow, um, yeah. So that's on violent runes. Shit, do I wanna put, sorry, I'm cussing. Do I wanna put my rage runes on Basalt and see how much damage he does? So 31, we knew it was going to do more. I wasn't expecting it to do that much more. Um, 31,000 AoE when they have the defense break. And that's, again, that's optimally, optimally buffed. Defense leader, defense buff, crit rate buff. Everybody or the people have the defense break. Wow, that was awesome. So definitely a much stronger in terms of raw damage. And, and again, it still had the AoE attack bar decrease as well. Uh, we'll use this first skill on a non-defense broken target to see if it's anything comparable. And mind you, this has the provoke while Bulldozers has the stun. Let's go ahead and do it. 1000. Okay, so the first skills aren't even comparable. But man, does Basalt make up for it with that third skill. Wow. So obviously, guys, if you have Basalt, you could. I would definitely use him over Bulldozer in, in the idea of... Um, kind of tee away he's got a much better kit but for those that don't have basalt i think he's definitely worth a shot i think bulldoze even i'm sorry if, I say, if you don't have basalt bulldozer is definitely worth a shot um and not only if if bulldozer can fill some spots in tea away that's great if he can't he's still a great arena offense monster he's still a great um guild wars monster and we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna try though i'm on like toa 70 uh around 70 in toa hard we're gonna just take bulldozer in instead of my basalt with my normal team uh just to see if it works and then we'll do we'll try to do a guild battle i haven't taken a look at this guild um and we'll try to take them in there and then that'll that'll be it guys 
So I'll let them auto through this. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people think, are saying it's not even worth comparing. I feel like it is, personally. I mean, feel free to disagree. But I, that damage is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Basalt's on a whole nother world in terms of damage from that third skill. Um, he's got a better utility kit. He's a better support monster. But like I said, if you don't have Basalt, Bulldozer can possibly, we're going to find out right now, take place for him in some TOA aspects and um, be used elsewhere as well. Uh, this is mainly for Bulldozer's review, not just saying he's Basalt, because he's not. So let's let's try it. We'll do the TOA first. 172. That's, uh, this is my normal TOA team. My TOA team. Whatever. My TOA team for TOA normal and TOA hard. We're going to just... Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That would have been bad. Okay. Uh, we got to take the runes off of Basalt. Almost went in there with a naked Frankenstein. Naked bulldozer. You know you want to see that. Hi, guys. I've been working all day. Honestly... I just six star bulldozer this morning to do this review on him. Um, he was three stars this morning. I spent all day leveling him like while I could at work, and I've had no chance to do free rune removal. I wanted to do my double target DB10 team. I wanted to work on my necro team, and it's going on eight o'clock here for me Eastern time, and I haven't had a chance. By the time I'm done uploading this, it's going to be like 9:30, and then. I have to wake up at 5 in the morning. We're going to go to D.C. with my girlfriend and her mom. And then I go back to work after that. So I am, I've been stretching myself thin, guys. But hey, such is life. Uh, come on. Guard. Almost done. Almost done, guys. Hang in there with me. And then you're going to possibly, if you want to, you could watch me do this one more time when I put the Rage Runes on Bulldozer to see what his third skill does. Maybe even as a bonus, I'll do Basalt on Rage at the end. If you're just curious, you don't have to watch it. Um, it just a little extra tidbit. Um, okay, so let's go into that TOA. Oh, Jesus, this video is getting long. I'd hurry it up. Um, come on, buddy. Wait a bit. All right. Should be good. Should be good. We don't have a defense buff, which is going to shorten his damage a bit. That's a little unfortunate. And it's nice, too, because Basalt can buff his own defense and then use his third skill and do a crazy amount of damage. Um, is there anybody I want to take out to bring a defense buff? No. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're literally taking out my Basalt for my team, and we're just throwing in Bulldozer, and we're going to see how he works. Yes, this is not a boss stage. I don't have the time right now to get all the way up to the next boss stage 80 and show you guys. So we'll just do it here. Alright, just done everybody. Alright, defense break. Mantura is such an underrated monster. And let's go ahead and just test this out. I'm going to drop it to one just for this move. Let's see. About 5,000 AoE. Not a ton. Not a ton. He's, we're going to see, hopefully, his third skill will um, kind of make up for that. But without the without the defense buff, I don't feel like it's going to do a ton, especially on the violent runes. Um, but we'll see. We'll find out here in a second. Oh, I'm all looking at my tablet. I can be clicking. All right, let's just test it out, see if we can... I know we're not going to kill her, but maybe we can do a good amount of damage. 15,000. That's not horrible. It'll do 15,000 on the boss as well because it ignores the defense. Um, so maybe a potential boss nuker. Um, he doesn't have the taunt, so you're going to want to bring Mav for that. Um, but definitely a workaround. And like I said, guys, this isn't Basalt. This is a possible... I've, I've said it so many times. I'm sorry for those who have just shut up already, but... I just have to, with as much controversy as I caused today posting this in, in the Reddit, I, I feel like I need to keep mentioning it. That I'm not trying to say he's better than Basalt. 
He's not a replacement for Basalt, but possibly... Um, I'm sorry, he's not to replace Basalt, but he could possibly, in some scenarios, fill in for Basalt um, if you don't have him. So, and I like him. I still like him, even though, you know, he definitely, he's not doing those 30k nukes like Basalt was. Um, but he still gives me some utility with the attack bar decrease. He can do solid damage on the boss with his ignore defense. And uh, he can still stun with his first skill. So uh, we probably won't get to see that with this team because everybody, nothing ever really gets to move. But... Maybe, maybe, oh, darn it. Let's see if you're seeing it right there. I'm going to try to go through this. I, get, I know you guys don't want to just watch me do TOA. So let's get through here. And then we'll put the Rage on him. Or we'll do, we'll do the guild battle with him on Violent, I think. We'll put him on Rage. We'll put him on Rage. We'll just put him on Rage, and then we'll test him with Rage in the guild battle. How about that? Oh no, we can't do that. We can't do that. He's got to stay on violent. So we'll leave him on... We'll do the guild battle. We'll put him on Rage. We'll put Basalt on Rage. And you guys will be done with me for the day. Come on. Alright, let's see this again. Spectra, you keep missing them slow, son. It's just a resistant dude over here. Look at him, he's not taking anything. Let's see if we can stun him. No! Ouch. Ouchy, ouch. Okay. Come on. Let's do this. Somebody... I'm almost convinced just to put runes on a Hemos and take him in as a 3-star to make these runs faster, having the two sets of dots. I might like that. But I also got the light kobold bomber, and I want to build him as well. So, not sure if I'll do that. Um, what else? You don't have the healer. That you don't have. I mean, obviously, look how low spectre is. It would be really nice to have a heal right now, uh, but I don't. And it was unfortunate that he got to move in the beginning. Most of the time in TOA hard. In order to succeed in TOA hard, you have to make sure that nobody moves. And I did a review on Woundhack, the Dark Taoist. Um, you can check that out to show kind of how he works. And with Basalt in here, it is a lot faster. Basalt does a lot more damage with, with his third skill. Nukes everybody down. But he makes it safer in general. There we go. We got a stun with the first skill. But again... Can you see me now? Can you see me now? There we go. Sorry about that. Clicked too far. Let's see if we can decrease his attack bar. Thank god, because he probably would have killed my Spectre right there. You know what, I'm not even going to use Spectre's second skill. Because he's going to kill himself. So feel free to skip past this, guys. I'm just, I don't want to waste the energy, so I'm going to finish it. We're going to follow through. I'm confident that we can do it. It's nice too to have Basalt because Basalt um, is dark attribute, so you don't have to worry about the, uh, like here they're water, so I'm not gonna have as good a chance at stunning them with Bulldozer. Because they're going to resist me. There we go. Then we might lose Spectre here. We might. Ooh, getting close. I really hate using all my cooldowns when there's only like one or two monsters, but I always tend to have to. No, I can't do that. So with a heal here, I would definitely be able to do that. Water units are my worst enemy. No joke. Can't even use Spectre's second skill, it's gonna like kill him instantly. That's ridiculous. But. It is possible. Don't do it. There we go. Alright, we're good. We're good. 
We'll make it through. We will see the light of day. Stun them. Defense break. Dots. And ooh, just a type bar decrease. Should we do it? Is he gonna live? Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know if Spectre will kill himself in order to use that skill. I do not know that. I do not know if that's a thing. Uh, let's go again. I want to use Bulldozer's third skill on him to see if we can kill him very very stunned. Should have done the attack bar decrease there. Actually, he's got the highest attack bar, so we could just stun him. Wound hack. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how you make TOA so easy. I recommend you guys go check out that video if you haven't. Or if you have a Dark Taoist or a Water Taoist um, and, you, and you're struggling in TOA, you shouldn't be. Because all you need is this 3 star and your Taoist and you're good to go. You'll not have any problems. I, could, I wonder if I could do a video where they just do it on their own by continuously keeping them stunned. That would be kind of cool. That would take forever. But be interesting. I just missed Beretta's dots. That guy's taking way too long. Please feel free to skip past this part so that we can get to the guild battles and we can get to the Kill it with that. And come on. I'm clicking as fast as I can, you guys. I cannot click much faster. Come on. Good. Oh, oops, I didn't even get a violent proc. He has a violent proc too much. Notice that. Come on, Spectra. I wonder, I mean, it looked like that should have killed him. If it really goes by, was it, 10% of his max HP? Yeah, it looks like, looked like that should have killed him. Alright, we could just focus on this guy. Okay, sorry that took so long, guys. So, I definitely think Basalt's better, but I think if you don't have Basalt and you need an AoE decreaser, somebody that can kind of nuke down the boss a little bit, and an extra stunner on the side, I think Bulldozer is a, a good replacement for that. So, with that said, let's... Any good ones? Any greens? No. Let's just do this guy. Um, let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna take Raha. This one. Yeah. Raha, you and this guy. Oh wait, no, I can't take Galleon. I forgot. I switched his runes around so he's faster than my Praha. That doesn't work out. We'll go with resistance. Hopefully we don't get our armor broken. And down here we'll try the team. Even though it's two fire, I'd rather it not be. But we should be able to, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that with Copper we could take out a Ladriel, and then with Bulldozer we could take out Vertihill, and then um, hopefully, hopefully we could take down the Perna with all three of these guys, even though two of them are Wind and Bulldozer will be stunned, because I don't have the Will Runes. If you're going to take them in Guild Battles in Arena Offense, put Will Runes on them, it'll make a huge difference. Let's just try it. Try this real quick. I'll put the rage on him. Rage on basalt. Good to go. Good to go. Almost done, guys. It's because I'm including so many monsters in my reviews that they're taking so long. I really should just like. This is just him. My pro. What is with? She's not skilled up, so it's only an eighty percent chance, and her accuracy I think is like eighty or ninety percent. But why? She's missing all the time, and it's costing me so many guild battles. She just doesn't want to fucking do it. Ah. And we don't get a defense break. I guarantee you this Theomars is going to defense break. Or, yeah, the Theomars is going to defense break somebody. Even though I have a resistance leader skill, he's going to defense break my Teor, and he's going to kill him. He's going to defense break, buy the proc, kill it. Calling it. Maybe we can kill this. Nope, not even close. Not even close. Some shit. You a bitch, Praha. 
you bitch. Sorry guys for my cousin. Save his mouth. Let's go ahead and heal. No stamina, hold on here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Alright, we're here for the sacred match anyway. So we'll give. Who am I more worried about? Ugh. Hmm. They're gonna. If I kill Ladril first, then these two are definitely gonna go for the wins. Bulldozer's gonna get to kill Verta Hill. Let's do that. Please have enough defense. Eladriel is a defense type monster. I don't have a defense break. Please have enough defense to ignore defense on this Eladriel. Please. Thank you. Oh no! No, he's gonna heal it up too! God damn it! Why does nothing go my way? You know what? Should I still kill the Verta Hill? No, because Eladriel's gonna res him. And I know this isn't gonna do enough damage to kill the Eladriel. What do you do? What do you do in life? Uh, he's so close again! And now we have to deal with this Perna for so much longer. This isn't a reflection on Frankenstein, by the way, guys. This is a reflection on my copper and his crap runes. And, of course, he's stunned for a whole nother turn, so he can't uh, get a stun off. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Stun! Ooh, damn, almost killed it though. Almost killed it so I could save his third skill for... Come on, with the prox. I could save his third skill for Perna. Oh, you stun though. Let's, uh... Do I stun Perna or kill Vertihill? Um... He's gonna move though. He's gonna increase his attack bar anyway. Uh, but if I decrease attack bar, then maybe Copper can kill it. Fire. That's right. Oh, oh, even better. Even better. Now Copper's going to move before he does, and I can try to get a stun on this partner. Yes! Yes! All right, we might have a chance, guys. We might have a chance. Nope, 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 no, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, you bitch, Perna. Fuck it, we're just going to have to... Um, no, we're going to have to kill... Shit, this isn't going to kill him, though. This isn't going to kill him. Damn it. I want to save. I want to save his third skill to kill the Perno when it comes back up. But if I don't kill this Verta Hill, then I might be dead. We're gonna kill him. We're just gonna kill him. Oh, and we don't have the buff anymore. That's gonna hurt. Stun it. No. Okay. This is this is your chance to shine. If it was stun, okay. Oh, that's that's enough. Maybe we could just keep stun locking it. Oh, we might get we might get this guy. No, no, stop it, Perna, Perna, you bitch, Perna! What the fuck? Ah, oh, god damn it! Ah, uh, okay, sorry guys, Perna's OP, Perna's too broken. GG, GG. Ah, uh, every time I try to showcase something when I'm recording, it just it doesn't want to work. But I promise you guys, it works. Um, son of a bee. Okay, let's let's uh, take off Copper's runes. And take off Copper's runes. We'll put them on Bulldozer. So this is the end of the video, video guys. Um, I do. I still think uh, Basalt's a better monster. If you have Basalt, go ahead and continue using him. But you could still have Basalt and build a Frankenstein. I think he, I still think he's good in Guild Wars and in Arena Offense. I need those Will Runes. If Perna didn't proc like crazy, we would have won that match. Um, even though Copper derped and didn't kill the Eladriel. It was just... That was a mess. Um, so I still think he's a great monster. As far as replacing Basalt, I think he has the potential... It's, I should... I, I keep saying replace... And I don't think you guys are going to like that. You're going to poke holes in it. He can fill for Basalt in some situations if you don't have Basalt. I think I honestly think he can do it. I think he has enough utility with the stun on first skill, the AoE attack bar decrease, and the ignore defense that could help you kind of nuke down bosses or super tanky units in TOA. I, th I think he could do it. I think he's good for it. Maybe if I find a more specific scenario, I could record it again and show you guys. But I think he can, personally, and I will continue to mess around with him and find what works absolutely best 
So definitely a good monster, guys. Um, easy to get, easy to skill. If you right now, uh, before Monday hits, the wa the Wind Frankenstein is in the exclusive summons, so you could get skillops for him if you have them already. And I think that's it. All right, we gotta put the rage runes on him. What rage runes? What rage runes? There we are. For those of you that are leaving already, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, like I said, a lot of controversy over it. I hope you're not too mad at me for doing this video. I think, I think it's a, I think there's a valid reason behind the comparison. A lot of people disagree, but you know, it's just, it's my two cents. I think it works. You've, you've been shown some of the evidence. Basalt obviously does way more damage, um, so you can make your own decision. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for those that want to keep watching to see this damage, uh, feel free to stick around. Shit. Which one was it? Which one's better? Uh, we'll take the crit rate. We'll take the crit rate. And then we'll do this one. Oh, that doesn't even have defense on Oh, yes it does. It does. I'm Cray Cray. All right, so we got Frankenstein. We're just going to take him into Fam on Hell again. Take him out, put Frankenstein in, and then I'll do Basalt for you guys too, since it's free room removal day and I don't get the chance to swap rooms this frequently. Alright, got everything we need. We don't even need Galleon, but we'll just bring him anyway. 41 minutes on a monster review. I'm sorry, guys. Holy cow. We're almost done. We're almost done, though. No, stop it, Galleon. Alright, give him the turn. Let's just check out his third skill on Rage Runes. Here we go, full power punch. 15 and 15.5, so about 31,000 damage um, that he's gonna be guaranteed to do. That's pretty good, pretty good, I like it. I, um, damn, I needed a little bit more though on that copper, and that copper did 38,000 for that Eladriel, which is a really tanky unit. Um, I was kind of iffy about bringing that team anyway, because just because of Perna, I know that Perna could solo my whole damn team. Uh, that's Those were his stats with the Rage Runes. He didn't have that much more defense with the Rage Runes. Um, actually, might have even had less, but the crit damage was obviously higher. Crit rate was lower, but with the buff, we were at 99%. So last thing, we're going to take these off and put them on Basalt. And these were my Copper's Runes, guys, when he did the 38,000 damage. Was it 38,000? It was something like that. It was 1,000 less. It was one point less than that Eladriel's HP. Whatever, whatever that Eladriel was. Let's hook him up, and then we're done. All right, almost done. Almost done. And the guard rooms. I'm so glad that they go to the same spot every time. So glad. Makes life easier. Alright. Let's take this in. For this, we'll need the Galleon. So you could see his stats there with the Rage. Ooh, that crit rate is low. Hopefully we actually get the crit. We should. 90% crit rate with the buff. Let's test it out. I don't know, 40,000 damage? Maybe. Maybe with the extra crit damage? We'll see. If it hits for 40,000 damage AoE, I... Damn, I might just have to keep Assault on Rage then. Here we go, let's turn down to one. This is the last show for you guys. 34,000, 37,000 AoE and an attack bar decrease on a support monster. Obviously guys, Basalt is just absolutely amazing. Um, so is the Frankenstein though. I do think the Frankenstein is great. Um, not comparable damage wise. It was Basalt just blew him out of the water. But I think kit wise could possibly in some scenarios fill in for Basalt if you don't have Basalt. Um, but Fire Frankenstein, good in Guild Wars, good in Arena Offense, does a lot of damage with his Ignore Defense, has a good stun rate, does have attack bar decrease. I think he's a good monster and I definitely recommend you guys if you need that damage dealer. Kind of 
with a little bit of utility mixed in, uh, he's very good. Um, so that's it, guys. Sorry it was so long. Thank you for sticking around if you watched the whole thing. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions, if you want to see something done, feel free to send me an email. I'll be happy to respond and get back to it as soon as I can. Um, leave a comment below. And if you guys like and subscribe, I'll keep putting out more videos. And when I come back from DC tomorrow, I will. it'll be late. But I will do my best to get another video out. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you guys.